All right, what is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie's Tarot. Ignore the bad hair and the, the night shirt, okay? Um, it is what it is. We're going to dive in, okay? I woke up a little late this morning. I was supposed to be up a little earlier. Here comes little snow. Stars and stuff. Here she come. Watch your head. What? You starting stuff. She got bad hair, too. <laughs> okay. What's going on with Scorpios? What's going on, Scorpio energy? What's the overall energy? Woo. Didn't we get this the other day? Woman holding a heart? Okay, so this does have something to do with either you could be this feminine energy and you could be like finding tranquility. You could be finding peace. You're very um, satisfied with um, how your life is going right now type of energy, like in love, like receptivity is what it said like you know equal reciprocity and love and things like that okay it's not you have learned lessons because in the heart you you know there's some hearts that are cut out um now what is it attachment that's crazy she pulled that out and it could be due to some attachments that have happened you know maybe there were people that tried to stay attached to you or you bonded yourself to two faced to people because she got a mask on right here some of y'all could have been dealing with them type of people. And that could have been where your heart got scarred. You know, where somebody left, um, caused you pain, caused you hurt. And it's because maybe you weren't seeing something the way you needed to. Maybe you were viewing some as rose-colored glasses. But you realized that some people didn't need to be in your life. That's crazy. She pulled that out. I'm going to keep it. Just the same. What else you got? Yeah, yin yang. So your life is balancing now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ari. Go ahead, girl. And then blossom in abundance on the bottom of the deck. Look, I'm going to keep it right there. She said what she said, okay? But yeah, um, some of y'all, y'all have attachments that maybe you need to release so that you can have that yin and yang, or you can find your yin and yang, two, two, that's balance. Four, four could be significant, five, two, two. Some of y'all going through changes. <laughs> some of y'all going through changes. With this 4-4 energy, y'all could be having, like, like, this could be like a, a feminine and uplifting friend. Someone coming in, showing you love, nurturing energy as well. And with that, you could be changing the way you view certain people. You know what I'm saying? You're seeing the, the mask is coming off. The rose-colored glasses are coming off. And you're seeing what you need to detach from. What you need to, um, who you need to release, what you need to release. Whether it's like old uh, relationships, old friendships, uh, partnerships, um uh, mindsets you know things like that like you can't you can't stay back there you know what i'm saying and this is what's gonna bring you in that yin yang energy that balance let's read that real quick because that's 22 thank you snow look at you girl passive slash active and intuitive slash logical this card represents energetic life cycles and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cyclic energy moving into or out of your experience hello somebody Hello, somebody. <laughs> in its upright position, it heralds a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. So this could have been happening behind the scenes or under the surface, okay? This is a time of great receptivity, intuition, and gestation. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine the present activity. It is an especially good time for, uh, for completion. So wrap things up. Some of y'all wrapping up cycles with attachments, okay? Yin cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective. So open up to the sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. So, yeah, what was the other thing? She's being more than acting. Okay, so don't be ignoring this stuff. Like, whatever it is, like, y'all gonna see it. Like, what's the situations that have, uh-oh. What's the situations that are depleting you that keep putting holes in your heart? You know, you could be this very loving, caring, whether you male or female. Hey, baby, stop now. Whether you male or female, you could be, uh, say you're this feminine energy. You're the one always showing up, showing love, being receptive to people. You know, you always pouring into people. Make sure they pouring into you, too, because you're very loving, caring. Some of y'all, y'all got a female friend coming into your life showing you, hey, like, you might want to get away from that. You might want to pull yourself away from that type of person, that type of relationship, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't balancing you. You know what I'm saying? You pour more into it than you need be. Or maybe you should get out of that thought process like lack energy or you're not deserving of this because you are. You know what I'm saying? So somebody coming in, they showing you love or this is yourself showing you love, pouring into yourself. Yeah. I am open to understanding the cycle I am in and I am willing to utilize its energy beneficially. All that I need is already part of me. 
Yeah, so this is some sort of cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this. What cards do I want to use? And then Blossom in Abundance is underneath. So that's what you don't see coming to you. Do I need to read that? Probably so. Yeah, let's read that. Three. Increasing wealth and value. This card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the tree above. Upright, this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold. This card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. That's what y'all got coming to, towards you. Yep. And that's the reason why spirit is telling you with these attachment energies, like it's okay to like, you know what I'm saying? Love people and, and show up for people. But attachment, this this is like an old mindset. This is like perceived need and the choice to let go. Some of y'all need to choose to let go. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachment. So this could be somebody holding on to you. This could be old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. So this could be somebody holding on to you Ooh. from the past or you holding on to certain people from the past like no well that's my that's my sister no that's my brother like no i gotta you know we gotta stick beside them you know but this person sitting here pulling you down they ain't even doing nothing for you they eating off you riding your coattail or this is like and that's past thoughts but it's also like past relationships you know this family member i know you're not showing on my card ma'am give me that no we're not doing that have my card all jacked up don't be looking like that mm. I'm about to kick you out the room. <laughs> I'm about to you are so no, uh-uh. Go play with your brother. Or something. <laughs> I can't believe you. Gonna give me that look. She said, "Yeah, that's my child. You definitely mine. That's for sure." Oh Lord. Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. So it's like, yeah, you content. Yeah, you okay, but it's like you still can't move forward. Why is that that you can't move forward into this yin-yang energy? Either it's someone holding you back, a thought process that's keeping you from moving forward, okay? The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. For some of y'all, this could be emotional patterns, all right? Maybe you keep repeating something that you keep doing, and it's like, oh my God, why can't I break out of this? Because you keep repeating the same, same situation. You keep repeating the same type of relationship one-sidedness that type of energy or even old relationships this is like old people you keep going back to like yeah we cool you know that i'm gonna work with you and then you find out like, you can't trust this person they don't care they still the same and they ain't gonna change or physical addiction some of y'all this could be physical addictions addictions for you like maybe you got a drinking problem or a smoking problem or something like that and you can't seem to break that habit so that you can come into this yin yang energy you got to are you living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the chains that bind you could be of your own making. This card is telling you that it is time to take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy, and authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it until you do the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. And that could be what it is. One second. Okay. So let's keep it moving. Keep on going. All right, so let's see what this is. Thank you, Snow. <laughs> let's see. What deck of cards do I want to use? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, let's, for some reason, yeah, let's do this one. Let's do the mermaid tarot. The mermaid tarot. Okay. Let's see. Woman holding a heart. What's that? Shuffle. Woman holding a heart. Clarify woman holding a heart for Scorpio, please, spirit. Yeah, we got the strength card. So, yeah, this is you standing in your strength, your power. You're strong, you're courageous, you're confident in this energy. Yeah, look at you. She's up here rescuing a whale. Look at her. Yeah, baby. Ain't scared of nothing. Big, small, short, tall. Not scared of anything. You got love in your heart, though. And Page of Cups. Very innocent energy, too. You could be like a very innocent energy where you like, you. You know, maybe you tend to have hope in certain situations or people that maybe they not really, you know, 
Maybe they really shouldn't be believed. <laughs> like these would be people like coming towards you, offering your apology and they don't really mean it. Goodness. They don't really mean it. You know what I'm saying? Like the page of cups, like this is someone who's very, uh, has a very creative mind, very tapped in too. Okay. Someone very intuitive, but the fish in the cup is, it's an illusion, you know? So maybe some of y'all, you're confident about your love. You're confident about who you are about, you know, giving your love, showing your love to people. But some people you don't, they don't deserve. Yeah. Seven of cups behind that. Ten of cups could be family. People pretending to be family. People pretending to be like cool with you, okay with you. These people are not. They're not. Like they, they may want to put you in an illusion here. Let's see. Clarify the woman holding the heart with the strength. We got the star and temperance in reverse. Yep. And then the devil. See. Some of y'all, it's like y'all are so strong and powerful and courageous, right? Very hopeful, healing loving uh caring energy wish fulfillment type of energy right but the temperance is in reverse something's throwing you off balance here there's an imbalance here there's something that just is not and and again like if you look in the upright she's pouring in both right but in the reverse ain't, ain't nothing being poured it's one-sided it's out of balance and then the devil is here it's like somebody keeping you trapped throwing you off balance causing problems for you causing issues for you Although you're this wish fulfillment, maybe you're wishing and hoping that something will balance out or somebody will uh, be in this harmonious energy with you. This is the devil, baby. Yeah, this is the devil, the world card. Yeah. It's somebody keeping you trapped or in a cage. You know what I'm saying? Look at this mermaid out of water, trapped in a cage, stuck. So make sure ain't nobody doing that to you. Let's see. About the uh, woman holding the heart. Some of y'all, y'all love is so innocent, or you just love so innocent. It's like, oh my gosh, I want to help somebody, or I want to do something for somebody. Or, you know, um, you the star quality. You are what a lot of people wish for. They wish for that type of love, you know, or you're wishing that somebody would be that type of person you are. But let's see. So you can you can tend to throw yourself off balance by loving somebody a little bit, you know, too much. Maybe a friend's coming in telling you this. What's the the woman holding the heart? Yeah, somebody trying to block you. Ego, hurt ego, ego getting in the way of relationship, etc. Somebody could be trying to like block you out of ego. They don't like that you show up this way. They don't like that your wish fulfillment. They don't like that you're this type of person. One second. Make sure you're not being reckless with your love too. Yeah, idol love, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. Yeah, somebody just don't like the way you shine. Some of y'all could be in the spotlight or you could be being seen. Yeah, drama starter. They may try to like cause drama with you or start drama with you uh make sure you're not doing this too but some people just they don't like that you're a star or that you're healing okay or that you're a healer some of y'all this could just be a healer because the star is about a healer energy um that you're hopeful that you're wishful that you know a lot of people admire you a lot of people look up to you like wow like you know look at this person like a lot of people don't like you being seen like that they want you to be careless. They want you to be reckless when it comes to your love or when it comes to who you're showing up for or who you're helping, like stalker, stalking, watching, obsessed. Yeah, dirty offer. There could be somebody trying to come towards you off your dirty offer. This person could be stalking, watching you, trying to start drama with you. What's the uh, woman holding the heart? Carless, no car repo, car issues. Whoever this is, they could be having like car problems or stagnation, love triangle, or maybe they feel stuck in a connection or in choices in love or something like that, and they feel some type of way. Threatening, intimidated, threatened, and bothered. Yep, too busy winning. Okay, somebody could be threatened by you, intimidated by you. Maybe you have, like, more choices in love or something like that, or this could be somebody that put you in a third party. Hustling, making it rain, focus on money, getting it, wolf and sheep slowly. Yeah, some of y'all, there's somebody that can't be trusted. This person comes is a hustler. This is somebody who hustles people for money. Or hustles um, to gain financially, but this is a two-faced person. And this is somebody two-faced. Yeah, low IQ. This is somebody, and then they're not smart about it either. Groupie. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not smart about it either. The way they go about it, like it's, it's like it could be visibly seen that somebody's trying to block you or block your forward movement. Even though you're showing up as this loving, caring person, like wanting to give, wanting to support, wanting to be receptive, wanting to, you know, 
but maybe you was just a little reckless when it came to your love or you know maybe you overindulged in giving uh, to somebody and this was a hustler this was somebody that knows how to hustle people for money or use people or, or like you know so let's see what's the attachment so be careful of that because you could have somebody trying to do that too, like trying to block you from being seen, being respected, being admired. Or this could be you too. Make sure you're not doing this by overindulging in certain things or doing too much or doing the most as well because you could be causing stagnation in your own life. But I feel like, what's the attachment? I feel like you're standing up confident, courageous, in the star quality energy. And with this tempers in reverse, it just, maybe there's something out of balance. What's the attachment? the world card so yeah some could be happening online there could be some sort of success happening four of wands in a home situation but this is also community so definitely something could be happening online what's the attachment we got the hermit <clears throat> and the will of fortune okay so yeah some, something's turning ten of swords oh my god somebody getting stabbed in the back this is a pain hurtful traumatized ending backstabbing bitchiness gossip ten of swords this is like beating a dead horse ten of swords energy something's changing though somebody could be coming out of hermit mode or going into hermit mode because of something some sort of success some sort of recognition something being going viral the wheel is turning wheel of fortune yeah somebody's getting on top of the wheel what's this about in regards to an attachment boss daddy love triangle could be about a, a boss figure and a third party situation what's the attachment for scorpio queen rising stepping into power praise coming up in spotlight somebody is like standing in their power when when it comes to like success and recognition or um achievements things like that somebody's really standing in their power and uh this is somebody somebody could be in hermit mode that wants you back but yeah, as your will is turning, somebody else could be getting bad karma. Wow. So this, again, this could be watch out, um, watch out about exes and stuff like that trying to come back because a lot of them could be getting karma, y'all. A lot of them could be getting karma. They want to come back to you. They want to attach themselves to you because you're this loving, caring, of course, energy. But with the temperance energy in reverse, you could tend to overindulge like giving to certain people over loving over sharing over giving and it blocks your forward movement okay like this is like family say certain family members come back to you oh i really need help oh you know i really love you but then you overextend yourself and then you put yourself in a rut you know and you got blessings coming in so make sure it's equal maybe you got somebody coming towards you like hey you shouldn't be giving to them you know da, 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 da. six of wands yeah ten of swords ten of wands Somebody could have been burdening you or something, you know, somebody was getting victory and success off of causing another person burdens. And now they're in this ten of swords energy. It's dead. It's done. It's ended. It's backstabbing. This is like somebody could have been like two tens. Good Lord. Somebody could have been like trying to like step on somebody's back. What's the attachment? Thief. Yeah. Somebody could have been stealing from somebody. What's the thief? Fake flexing. Thief, rob, lost, step, physical, emotional, and fake flexing. Axe rich, flosses money, axe fancy, shows off, etc. And bankrupt. And legal issues. Somebody could be going through some sort of legality. Uh, somebody could ha be going bankrupt too. And this is part of somebody's karma. Yeah. Somebody could be faking it like they got it like that. Somebody could have used somebody or tried to use somebody or maybe tried to use you. One second. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, somebody could have been acting rich, showing off. Yeah, unfazed. You could be unfazed about it, though, hustling. A wolf in, you could be unfazed about it because you know this person's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, somebody would do anything for money, anything for cash. So, be careful of reattaching yourself to certain people. Yeah. What's the yin and yang for Scorpio? the death card so yeah wow bottom of the deck nine of wands somebody could be like wounded warrior and they're putting an end to that like no i want balance maybe you're having to do something because like these people like 
they're in the water like trying to like oh my gosh you know what i just got the dark and the light working together because on top of the water there's like a human rescuing somebody but then underneath the dark in the depths there's somebody else rescuing the animals too so it's like the dark and the light are working together to like save somebody or save people or save you or something oh my gosh nine of wands because you're like this wounded warrior energy this is like the dark and light coming together working together to expose something or show something what's yin and yang or this could be you yeah the empress and this empress energy like what you've been through like the cert things that are seen on the surface but people not seeing things underneath ace of wands energy this passion new fiery beginning yeah, it's like things are being things that can be seen and the things that aren't being seen. Like it's like somebody is being shown here. Like you're putting an end to it. Like yeah, it looks glamorous up here. This is what it looks like on top, but this is what's really going on underneath, or something like that. Like what's the? Uh, this is why I'm in this empress position, or this is why this empress is here. Or this is why she looks the way she looks. What's the what's the, the yin and yang? Goodness. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Somebody was casting illusions over somebody's stability or community. Are you okay? Don't eat too fast. <laughs> but yeah, Seven of Cups. Like some sort of illusion or choices or options or opportunities is coming in. What's this about? Yin and Yang. What's that for Scorpio? Happiness, hater in reverse. So somebody say, oh, too busy winning, child. So somebody could have been trying to be like, put death to somebody or put something to an end. This could be somebody going through a transformation. Like somebody's now seeing that somebody's not a happiness hater. Like this person's actually standing in they they on their own or in this empress energy. Like they're actually winning, too busy winning. Like this, what's the yin and yang? Acting cold. You could be cold or you could be cut off. You're not saying nothing. You're not speaking. Cloud hungry. Says anything, does anything, make it up and dramatic. Somebody could be cloud hungry or they were doing something for clout. That's why you're cold or that's why you're not speaking to somebody or that's why somebody's not speaking. What's what's going on? Forcer. Forces things on you, forces the way in, uses force to get what they want. Yeah, somebody was trying to be forceful, forcing an illusion. This could be somebody at a distance with the travel card. Scarcity tactics. They could have been breadcrumbing. Yeah, dust it out. Like somebody could have been breadcrumbing somebody to try to get what they wanted out of the situation. And with the Seven of Cups, this was the illusions here. Or somebody didn't realize somebody had multiple options or opportunities or different opportunities to... To balance them out with the yin and yang, they just had to put action into it. But with this force of energy, forces things on you, force the way you use this force to get what they want. Somebody was trying to force something or force an illusion. Like, now nah, this ain't the empress or this person ain't who they say they are or something like that. That Like, they wanted you to look be looked at like you a happiness hater. But you they with the death card, somebody put an end to that. Like, baby, I'm not, I'm not a happiness hater. This is what's going on. This is what's being seen. This is what's being shown. But really, this is what's going on down here. Like some, because this is what I am. This is why I'm not talking. This is why I've been silent. This is why I, I haven't been doing what I've been doing. Because I've been over here focused on my luxurious lifestyle. I've been focused on doing the things that I want to do for myself. You know what I'm saying? The Empress doesn't have to speak. Yeah. So you could be cold. You could be coming off real cold, like not too approachable. Seven of Cups with the Forcer, though. But it's because somebody was trying to force something, force an illusion, force some sort of opportunity or something like that. It's like somebody wanted wanted it to go their way. Like, I don't Give me a couple more. It could have to do with traveling or groupie. This could have been a groupie energy. Extra trigger. Yeah, they triggered. Romantic Hello. love affair. Rejected, yeah, somebody, romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, F buddy. So somebody could have been like an F buddy or something like that and somebody got rejected and tried to make somebody out like they was a groupie or, yeah, yeah, like somebody, this could have been like, oh, they just mad because I won't have a love affair with them or, one second. Sorry, y'all. Snow is 
using them vocals. But yeah, somebody could have tried to make you out like you was a groupie or force you to look like a groupie or something like that. And now somebody could be triggered about that. What, what's the... Dirt digging, looking for dirt on you or vice versa. And then ain't shit. Yeah, haunted. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Curious about you. People could have been curious about you because now they're haunted. Because somebody really ain't shit or they tried to make you out like you want shit. Like somebody trying to... Player. This could have been a player energy. Bad reputation with a bad reputation. They tried to make you this way. Cyber bully. Yeah, you're being bullied online or they are. Has suffered from it. You could have suffered from some sort of bullying. Okay, or somebody is bullying you or whichever. You bullying somebody, you know, put it how it fits. Somebody could be bullying another person. Like somebody, a player could have tried to ruin your reputation by talking ill will about you. Or again, with that, I keep looking at that death card. I like how they made it. Like somebody could have tried to bully your reputation by saying like, oh, they're a happiness hater. They hate because I'm with this person or they hate that I'm in this relationship or something like that. When really that's not what was going on. The, you know, somebody could only see something from the surface. Like they couldn't see what was going on underneath. Like this is like somebody saying, oh no, I do this, I do this, I do that. Da, 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 da. But really underneath, somebody else is doing all the work. Or somebody else is helping. You know what I'm saying? divination abuser and moving somebody could have been abusing tarot or they could have said like oh no they're just they're just abusing tarot to say this or they're they're a fake tarot reader or something like that and now somebody's moving from that yeah moving to drama starter yeah moving away from that because now they realize that somebody was just a drama starter and now somebody got legal issues child all right let's get a couple of these and then I'm going to end it off so I can get it uploaded. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? I'm telling you, something's being exposed. Everyone believed the lies that this person told on you. Like, they could have said, no, she's in balance. Oh, she's an overgiver. Oh, she overindulges. She's a drunk or something like that. They could have been saying that, but it was to block your forward movement so that you won't be admired or respected. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could have did that when really you're this wish fulfillment. You're this person. You're somebody that a lot of people want to be around. You know, chocolate cake or cupcakes could be significant. What's the uh, woman holding the heart? Like you could be like a really loving friend or somebody wants to be loving to you. Work booth still tells safety gear. Clarify. What's going on? Press on, long nails, new manicure set. What's going on? Something about Wednesday could be significant. Strawberry cake or cupcakes could be significant. What else? Finding money on the ground. Quick come up. I say I don't trust you, but in reality, you shouldn't trust me. So somebody could have tried to make it out like, oh, you shouldn't trust that person, da 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 But really, they're the ones that can't be trusted. Be flexible. Higher power or people are at work. They want to see you fail and don't mind kicking you while you are down. And that could have been what was going on. It's like, you are already down for the count. And it's like, they steadily kicking you. They steadily trying to hurt you. They steadily trying to pull you down more and more and more. It's like, you know what I'm saying? All for them to be shown all for them to cast illusion like they not who they say they are they're not an empress they're not loving they're not caring you know what i'm saying they don't want you standing in your power or being you know being admired or, or respected you know or loved they don't want you to have no love like this person they just don't care they want to see you fail and don't mind kicking you while you're down that's harsh they want to see you hit the rock bottom what else is going on Something about Monday could be significant. Let's be real. They completely fumbled the bag with you. So, again, this could have been somebody that they wanted to be with you, but they didn't see your worth and your value. So, they fumbled you. And instead of just taking an L and, and, and going on about themselves, here they come want to try to tear you down or break you down or make you feel less than. You know what I'm saying? It's that kind of energy. It's, it's Saturday could be significant. They have a lack of support for you. This is somebody that don't support you at all. They'll come off like, oh, no, I support that person. Da, da, da. No, they do not support you at all. I didn't care how my actions were hurting you. I only wanted my end result. This person did not care. All they wanted was what they wanted. And if they had to kick you down and put you down in order to get what they wanted, they were okay with that. I'm being blackmailed from being able to come towards you. This person could have been being blackmailed. You could have been, they could have been blackmailing you. 
This could have been somebody blackmailing you. You are about to be living a luxurious life, and that could be what the problem is. They know that you financially on your own are good. That's why you're stepping into your power. You're pray you're in the spotlight. You're doing what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? And while they up here, they know they finna be out here faking the funk, or they been faking the funk, stealing from you, robbing from Peter to pay Paul type of energy. And they know you about to be living a good life, but they didn't want you, they, they didn't want that to happen for you. Becoming more intelligent, learning and healing from each lesson. You have learned and heal from each lesson that you had to go through with whoever these people are, this person is. You become more intelligent. You've known, you've learned how to move more properly, like uh, more, uh, more smarter, more smarter. You've learned how to move smarter when it comes to certain situations. And you learned a lot. This was a lot of karma, uh, a lot of lessons to be learned, but you learned it. They just don't want to admit that, damn, like I fumbled that person. I should have really. Like, held on to that person, but I didn't because they didn't see your worth and your value. And now they mad because other people see that they love and respect you, and they didn't. So, people looking at them like, dang, what's your problem? And so, they had to kick you while you were down. Or they didn't want people to know that that's what they was doing. They was kicking you while you was down and didn't care. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Yeah, look, you hurt my ego, and I couldn't admit it. Illness or injury, doctor appointment or dentist appointment. Child, this person could be sick all because of a hurt ego so you could have hurt somebody's ego when you started loving on yourself caring about yourself and they didn't like that so they had to they had to i gotta take them down type of energy that's crazy so anyway i'm gonna leave it there scorpio this is what i have for you hope it brings you clarity and insight appreciate y'all so much for watching catch y'all in the next video bye y'all